forward a little bit and walk backwards a little bit. We're trying to stay engaged on the on our heels, right? Keeping our butt low the whole time. The walking motion makes every muscle fiber in your glutes fire over and over again, right? As if you were just doing a squat or a squat jump. Nice and slow, no weights required, but you're doing a similar uh, foundation work for your glutes, for your quads, for your hamstrings, even your core a little bit by the walking motion, right? So you're walking back slowly, chest is up, our butt is down, walking forward slowly, chest is up, butt is down, trying to land heel first, heel first, and then going to the toes. All right, guys, bench hops. Here we go. One of my favorite cardiovascular and surprisingly core workouts. Okay, so we're going to grab the bench firmly with both hands, right? Have room to go over the bench with your feet. Okay, if it's too difficult to go over the bench, you can step back and use what would be an imaginary lower level or lower height bench. But you're going to go over with both feet, right? Double tap if you want as a modified version, but an advanced version, a better version, is without a double bounce. So over and back, over and back, over and back. The closer your body is to the bench, the better. The more angle it is, the easier. So keep it nice and tight, close to the bench as you jump. Over and back, over and back. Try to do it without stopping, guys. Three, two, one, good job. Alright guys, good old fashioned push-ups, here we go. Maybe the best exercise for overall chest and even shoulder development, okay? Very simply put. Alright guys, supermans, here we go. So supermans are a great way to work your lower back. We need to do more lower back work to keep our lower back strong to prevent serious injury later. So having your body on the ground facing down flat like your superhero, like Superman, you want your lower body and upper body to raise at the same time, like you're flying. So you're both both your hands and both your feet should come off the ground at the same time, at the same pace, and together, right? Lowering at the same time, at the same pace, together. Come up slowly, don't jerk the movement. Nice and smooth, with, with little, little jerky motion, keeping that lower back safe. Up and then down, up and then down, two, one. All right, guys, quarter four squats. A great way to add some complexity, some difficulty, some challenge to a body weight squat when you don't have weights available to you. What you want to do is we're combining a regular ass to the grass body weight squat with a posting or bouncing movement. So what you're going to do is you're going to squat down, right butt to the floor, ass to the grass. You're going to come up only a quarter of the way to the top, right? Go back down and then go all the way to the top. So you go down full, you come up quarter, go down quarter, come up full. Down to the bottom, up 25%, down to the bottom, up 100%. So you down, you bounce, you down, you're up. You down, you bounce, you're down, you're up. Three, two, one. Resistance band, supine curls, okay? We're trying to target the biceps in a way that's, that's isolation based, okay? So the supine curl is, is very targeted. Your elbows are in, your hands go out. Because of that, you can use a lighter dumbbell or, or, or barbell, or in this case, bands, right? So if you have light bands and, and it's too light for a regular curl, then the supine curl is perfect, right? Elbows are tucked in, our hands and forearms go out at an angle from our body. We're trying to target and keep engaged the bicep the whole time. So come down slowly, open your bicep up, up all the way, and then come up slowly. Go down slowly, open it up, come up slowly. Go down slowly, open it up, come up slowly. Thank you. 
All right, guys, bench dips. Here we go. On a bench dip, you can use any chair or bench or countertop or table, coffee table, anything that you can apply your hand to without pain and, and safely go down and up without the object moving, okay? The idea here is to work the tricep, obviously, keep your body close to the bench or chair, minimize the delta or distance between your body and the bench. This puts your arm at the right angle, a nice 90 degree angle at the bottom of the movement with the upper arm being parallel to the floor, the butt close to the ground. You wanna come down slow, drive up, and flex the tricep at the very top of the movement. Three, two, one. Alright guys, good old fashioned push-ups, here we go. Maybe the best exercise for overall chest and even shoulder development, okay? Very simply put, put your, your hands about shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit wider, and then drive down leading with your chest, right? The first thing to hit the floor should be your chest, right? Keeping your butt up, right? When you come up, make sure that the first thing that comes up is your torso and hips. The last thing off the ground should be your chest, so you're not doing a cobra type motion to come up, keeping your back safe. You can do several variations. You can go decline with your feet elevated. You can go flat, you can go wide occasionally. You can go narrow occasionally, but go down slow, chest to the ground, come up slow in two and one. Alright guys, good old fashioned push-ups, here we go. Maybe the best exercise for overall chest and even shoulder development, okay? Very simply put, put your, your hands about shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit wider, and then drive down leading with your chest, right? The first thing to hit the floor should be your chest, right? Keeping your butt up, right? When you come up, make sure that the first thing that comes up is your torso and hips. The last thing off the ground should be your chest, so you're not doing a cobra type motion to come up, keeping your back safe. You can do several variations. You can go decline with your feet elevated. You can go flat, you can go wide occasionally. You can go narrow occasionally, but go down slow, chest to the ground, come up slow in two and one. Too much talking? Okay.